no creepy face. I am still disappointed. Yeah, it's like something, all right. So let's crash the moon, I guess. Or well, let's get money first. Or well, I guess not. Whatever. Let's just do the operation, I guess. I guess so. Whatever. Guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the Mask of Darker. Hi, Yahoo. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I got him. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. Get too close and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing and it's sure to fall apart. Why don't send Murray to do it, or Bentley, or Sly? Instead of sending the only person who can get hurt by it. Because we need to have some Guru gameplay, goddammit. Also, none of the other characters can get to the Gyrocopter, I guess. Technically. Fair enough. Because, like, the Gyrocopter will fly away if you get too close with it, as shown here. So we actually have to steer the guards and jump off them before we get too close. Good thing there's a convenient new place to ramp there. <laughs> yeah, it's like the gyrocopter that needs to fly off it or something. Also, this sensor it detects the moonstone, but it can't see a koala on top of someone. No, no, it can't. No, look, it has. It can't sense. It can't sense, but it doesn't have eyes. Okay, good. So if it doesn't have eyes, why not send slide whack it a few times? Because it can still sense someone that's close. Oh no! You know what it is? It's near. It can sense something that's nearby, but it can't sense no, something like that's far away. It senses away. the moonstone. But that's a maybe that's a different radiation. Yes, so it doesn't have the radiation. But it can sense stuff coming close to it clearly. So. No, it senses the moonstone alone. I mean, it doesn't sense the dude co coming at it. Also, we can't see us because you know we're coming up from the ramp, and the ramp kind of blocks the view. Behold, the moon spirit rises. Woo. Everyone keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. We got a situation here, fellas. Looks like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Right. We can't stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. Roger, a flying wide berth. Quit horsing around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. Here I come, Master! Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Can't tell from here. I'll move in. I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you. Now that's not nice. Bentley, could use a little help. How about putting a few of your sleep darts in Carmelarja here? They will pry off the mask. Well, whatever. So, yeah, we gotta shoot Carmelita with the five bullets. Uh, sadly, Carmelita is kinda moves fast. So you actually have to wait until she stops or slows down until you can hit her. Boing. <laughs> and when you hit her once, you gotta wait until she stops shooting at you, otherwise you cannot hit her again. Is it literally impossible to hit her with one, or is it just super hard way? You, you, no. No, you can't hit her. But it's, yeah, it's hard to aim. And also, there's a giant flash flashlight in my way. Yeah, see, like, you can't hit her while she's moving. It's just hard. 
Also, I don't know where the hell that bullet went, but it t suddenly went somewhere. So, yeah, so you, you can try leading her shots. It definitely works, but... Or you can just wait until she stops. What's, whatever is easier for you. That, yeah, you shouldn't have missed that. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm... <laughs> that was weak. Then again, what do I expect from people who do not? My excuse is that the Banaki helm is a bit finicky sometimes. Ah oh, oh, well, whatever. The darts are starting to kick in. Or not. The chemicals in my darts must somehow be interacting with the mask to make her even bigger. Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. So we're at I, so we're at Aries Rock again, and we gotta throw back these uh, barrels back at her. It's pretty much the same as before with the claw. I mean, it's basically the same anyway. With that said, you still have to aim at Boing. her with the claw. Right like, knee. The barrel doesn't actually auto aim at her. You actually have to like throw it at her. So, and that's kind of a pain when she goes out of your throwing range. Yeah, that I can see that. Also, this uh, this segment is pretty dumb. Cause why the hell would she grow? What the hell is this? He told you the chemicals. It's, it's sleeping dumb. Chemicals. It's God's, it's weird. literally it's literally the story of Godzilla. No, it's not the story of Godzilla. The story of Godzilla is an allegory against nuclear weapons. Uh, I was talking about the 1954 Godzilla, not the 1998 one. Yes, but this is almost the same thing. It's, just, it's, it's an allegory against the sleep random chemicals. Random chemicals? Instead. No, sleep chemicals. It's not random. She's too huge! We can't outrun her in the truck! How are you doing? Uh, this is bad! We need a new strategy, and fast! Force just isn't working! Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of Dark Earth, and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her! Okay, not the point. It's all about taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer to her. Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh yeah, it's crazy. You got a better idea? Yeah, but we'd need a giant fighting robot. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. Watch out, Carmelita's troops are en route. Ah, you're in luck. Looks like he's inside of the mask. So, uh, yeah, this segment is going to go very quick, because I've, there is a mission, there is a challenge video, challenge, uh, where you have to climb up Carmelita's, Carmelita in under a minute. I think I do this under like, in like 50 seconds or something. So yeah, this is not very hard at all, honestly, just climb up Carmelita. Oh yeah, yes. Gotta climb up on each side. There's nothing really different about the sides either. It's just you climb up someone. Uh, you just climb up an enor enormous fox woman. And that is not wrong at all. No, not at all. Christ. Also, like, seriously, this is the first bit in the game that I am a bit weird finding out. questionable.
Carmelita just lay there, unconscious, helpless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. Didn't want her to go home empty-handed. Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. It was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member, and the team would never be the same.